If shader compilation feels slow in Unreal Engine, it's probably because the default config isn't tuned for your system. In this video, we'll go through how to tweak the dev options. Shaders config to make compiling and processing much faster. We'll break down what each config line does, how it affects performance and which values deliver faster results. Make sure to subscribe to Rumbod Dev so you don't miss future deep dive tutorials. Let's get started. To start tuning Unreal Engine's shader compiling config, first head to your desktop and right click on the Unreal Engine shortcut. From there, click on Properties. In the window that opens, look at the target and start in fields. This shows where Unreal Engine is installed on your system. Now, click Open File Location. This will take you directly inside the Binaries Win64 folder. From here, we need to go up two levels, first into the Engine folder, then up again into the root of the Engine directory. Next, open the folder called Config. Inside this folder, find and open the file named Base Engine. I recommend using Notepad or your favorite text editor. Once the file is open, press Ctrl plus F to bring up the search box and type the word worker. The first result you'll see is B allow compiling through workers equals true. This is where we begin tuning Unreal Engine's shader compile behavior. B allow compiling through workers equals true. This enables the use of external worker processes to compile shaders. It lets Unreal use multiple CPU cores instead of just one. Always keep this enabled for better performance. B allow asynchronous shader compiling equals true. This lets shaders compile in the background while you work. If this is disabled, Unreal will freeze during compilation. Definitely keep it set to true. Num unused shader compiling threads equals 3. This tells Unreal to leave three CPU threads unused for other tasks during shader compiling. If you want faster compiles and have a strong CPU, you can reduce this to 2, 1, or even 0. But going too low can affect overall system performance. Num unused shader compiling threads. During game equals 4. This does the same as the previous setting, but only while the game is running. Unreal reserves more threads to make sure gameplay stays smooth. You can reduce this too, but test carefully if your game is CPU heavy. Shader compiler core count threshold equals 12. If your system has fewer than 12 cores, Unreal uses the fixed thread count above. If it has more than 12, Unreal switches to percentage-based control instead. You can lower this number if you have a mid-range CPU like 8 cores. Percentage unused shader compiling threads equals 50. This is used when your system has more cores than the threshold. 50% means half of your CPU cores will be left idle during shader compiling. For faster performance, reduce this to 20 or even 10, but monitor your system usage. Max shader job batch size equals 10. This controls how many shader jobs are grouped together in each batch. Higher values mean better performance, but might delay individual compile results. 10 is safe, but if you're on a powerful setup, try increasing it to 15 or 20. Be prompt to retry. Failed shader compiles equals false. When set to false, Unreal won't interrupt you with pop-ups if a shader fails to compile. It's better for staying focused during development. Set it to true only if you need to debug shader issues. Be debug break on. Prompt to retry shader compile equals false. This is for engine developers. It triggers a debugger when a shader compile fails. Keep it false unless you're working at a low level in engine code. B log job completion times equals false. If set to true, this will log how long each shader job takes. Useful for profiling, but not needed for most users. Leave it false to avoid extra log noise. Process game thread. Target time equals 0 0.01. 
This tells Unreal to spend a small slice of game thread time, each frame processing shader results. 0.01 means 10 milliseconds per frame. If shader results are coming in too slowly, you can try increasing this slightly. Worker time to live equals 20. If a worker stays idle for 20 seconds, it shuts down to free resources. Lowering this reduces background memory usage. Increasing it keeps workers alive longer, which may help if you're compiling frequently. Build worker time to live equals 1200. This is the same idea, but for automated build machines, it keeps workers alive for 20 minutes to avoid restart delays between compile tasks. Worker process priority equals minus one. This sets how important shader compile workers are compared to other processes. Zero is normal. One or two will boost performance but can make your system sluggish. Minus one means low priority. Good for keeping things smooth while working on other tasks. The safest configs to adjust even on low or mid tier systems are percentage unused shader compiling threads. Lower this from 50 to 10 or even zero for faster compiles, especially if you have more than eight threads. Worker process priority, change it from minus one to zero or even one to let the shader compiler run with higher priority and finish faster. Max shader job batch size. You can safely increase this from 10 to 15 or 20 to reduce overhead, especially on multi-core CPUs. These tweaks give you real gains with very little downside. And of course, every other line we covered can be tuned to, depending on your hardware and workflow. That wraps it up for this tuning guide. If you want more advanced Unreal tips and full config breakdowns like this, make sure to subscribe to Rumbod Dev and I'll see you in the next one.